Hey, what's up guys? Uh, today we have a special uh, episode uh, on PS4. Uh, if you uh, have seen our video on Xbox One versus PS4, I'm sure you know this guy that I'm about to introduce to you. He's uh, one of the guys involved in that particular video. So it's none other than Mr. Adam. Yay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> welcome, welcome, Mr. Adam. Hey. Okay, how are you doing? Hello. <laughs> I'm okay. the guy who sided on PS4 <laughs> in the other video. Check it out. Should we yeah. have a link down here? No? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, click the link down here. Okay? Somewhere here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, today we're going to talk about PS4. Uh, In-depth review, in and out, everything, hardware, UI, software, you name it. So, uh, I have Adam here to help me out with uh, the review. So, he's going to talk about uh, everything and anything you want to know about PS4. So, let's go and take a look at the console itself. Okay, at the front, you can see that there's two USB ports here. Uh, this glossy part here, as you can see, it, it looks quite nice, right? But uh, it's uh, a removable part where you can gain access to your hard disk. So this launch uh, console uh, comes with a 500 gig uh, hard drive inside. So at the back, you can see that the ports here, there's a power AC port here, optical audio jack here, uh, HDMI. LAN network port this is your what is this yes auxiliary port here yeah. okay uh, so that's about it uh, a lot of uh, vents here for all the hot air okay uh, here is the console uh, while it's turned on some of you might might uh, miss this the power button is right in between here you can see very small power uh, logo there and this is the eject button uh, it's a uh, touch base sensitive uh, button so you see this is the LED indicator where it indicates uh, it's powered on next we take a look at the cables for the controller this is the uh, USB to micro USB port where you need to charge your controller as you can see the controller here you need to plug in here to charge uh, also comes in the box is uh, earphone and mic which I think it's a bit cheap coming from Sony uh, because you can see on the controller itself it, it has a special port here proprietary port for uh, I think uh, audio control and all that volume control but since it only uh, the ear earpiece only comes with a normal 3.5 mm jack, uh, you don't have any control, volume control, and all that. Let's have a closer look at the controller, uh, Dual Shop 4 controller. Uh, if you notice, it's a bit wider compared to the previous generation, and it's quite uh, snugly on the hand. And the most noticeable difference you, you feel immediately is the trigger button. It's uh, it's not as clickly or um, it's smoother. And the bumper button also, it feels uh, much better in the hand. And one thing that the DualShock 4 has over the Xbox One controller is the touchpad so which is clickable and you can use this for uh, UI navigation and some games even have uh, features you can use uh, this touchpad uh, well do, uh, in a game and also this share button where you can share your video screenshots or uh, all your killings in a battlefield 4 or anything like that to your uh, social network a lot of people um, were really worried what, how what kind of uh, 
feedback you can get from uh, the dual shock uh, analog controllers and i would say it's pretty much uh, the same but they uh, they refine it a bit uh, and make it more accurate okay so now um, this is what you're gonna see when you first fire up ps4 your welcome screen uh, as you can see here, you can add your user profile. Uh, you can see I have other profiles lined up here as well. Uh, when I sync my profile to my Facebook account, it's going to pull my Facebook uh, profile image. And then uh, right here is the other accounts with the default images. Um, I created two accounts. One is for Malaysian um, based region. The other one is US. Now, why what did it happen? Uh, okay, <laughs> because at first, uh, when I created a Malaysian account, uh, it turns out a lot of the features are still not there because when we received the, this console, it's still not launched yet in Malaysia. Yeah. Its launch date is on the twentieth of December. Right. Yeah. Um, when we received our unit, it was a few days after US launch. Yeah. So then I created a US account, and instantaneously everything is there. <laughs> So without further ado, let's go into the UI itself. Immediately you'll see a difference from the previous PS3 uh, dashboard. Um, right here is where you have a combination of your recently played games and content, as well as your utilities like TV, you have broadcasting, your internet browser, uh, playroom, I think it's the one that with uh, the camera. PS camera. Yeah. Um, and the typical standard feature. Well, now it's a standard. Um, <laughs> no thanks to the revolution that Xbox brings to consoles. You have your video unlimited and your music services, as well as a library for all of your media collection. So um, one of the concerns we might have, as of now, uh, we only have very a uh, few titles, uh, game titles, so you won't see that much clutter. But I've seen some of the uh, other PS4 out there where they have multiple games already, and this gets quite cluttered quite quickly. So probably in hopefully Sony will update a uh, UI in the future to manage that. So there is now there is no way of uh, organizing your game. No. So this Unfortunately, is or maybe there's something that <laughs> in the recent update, there was a recent update yesterday, I didn't have time to review it. Okay. Maybe there was something that was updated, but for now, um, it's quite standard. Oh, okay. They make it quite easy for you to have a summary of what's new. Uh, here is where they try to associate most of your uh, activities on the PS, as well as um, some advertising. <laughs> if you have friends, they will also show your friend activity. Consider this your Facebook. Yeah, typical like wall, feed. Something. yeah, yeah. Wall. news feed. Everything that I've shared on video, everything I shared, um, another advertising slot, everything that my friends have played, it's all here. Uh, on the very top, you have quick access to the PlayStation Store. You can jump right in, pretty quick. So whole new UI as well. Easy navigation for search and um, and your shopping cart. Your, uh, your side menu here that brings you to PlayStation Plus It's the first thing they offer you because this is now a compulsory for PlayStation users. Uh, previously, Xbox was the one that um, introduced this model where you have to pay monthly or yearly subscription to play multiplayer games. Yeah. Um, PlayStation Network last time was free, if not free? mistaken. Yeah, that's why it got a lot of problems and yeah, yeah. Lot of so disconnects. as it turns out uh, you need a lot of resource to maintain the service yeah um, games uh, Christmas is around the, the time of the shooting so you'll see a lot of deals um, so you can dive down a bit to what kind of deals we have you also have a section for PS3 PS4 meaning that some titles were on PS3 is also available on PS4 the typical um, blockbusters you have here, everything from Call of Duty to Injustice. Um, you can also always view more. These are always the top five or top six that they'll put. That's how they try to promote content discovery. Um, if you want more, then you have to load up the next menu. 
they introduced filters and all these smart ways to quickly browse through as well. And as you can see, it's quite prominent. They, they yeah. insist that you join PSN. <laughs> right. So currently now, it's not connected to PSN? Um, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yep. Okay. So I think that might be a generic ad. Okay. Um, uh, because uh, when you first um, got the PlayStation, it was bundled with, uh, I think, a month yeah, worth of yep, free, free subscription. Yeah. Okay, before that, there's some interesting categories here now. Um, you have digital only, which is uh, more skewed towards... Um, these are the kind of games, probably the smaller games where... Indie games. Yeah, like that. although they have a category for indies, I don't know <laughs> what's, what's the relevance. Um, <laughs> Maybe the big, bigger indie games. Maybe. Correct. <laughs> um, exclusives to PS4. Um, these are all, any hardcore fan would know, these are the launch titles. Some of them are the launch indie titles that you can find only in the store. You have free to play as well as a section. So uh, a lot of them um, online multiplayer, surprisingly. Usually free to play won't be on a console is usually a story based game. Yeah. So now you're seeing the, the trend shifting towards um, multiplayer and community. Hence why they encourage you to get the PlayStation Plus. Um, interesting to note, some titles will be disabled if you no longer have PSN. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Even if you have purchased it? It's free when you're a PSN member. Uh, I see. When it expires and you don't renew. Um, <laughs> It's taken away. Uh, probably disabled. <laughs> okay. And when you want to play it, they remind you, hey, you need to renew your subscription. I see. Yeah. <laughs> That's one way, cunning way of yes. getting people to That's update your subscription. But I mean, it's cool. The the challenge they had before is to to really let users know what's the value, mm. and I think now they're trying to really promote what what you're getting when you're paying for the service. Right? Yes besides security and server enhancements and all that. Um, again, this is a, a takeaway from Xbox model uh, demos. Uh, I love this game, man. Eh? Oh, you and the rest of the world. <laughs> um, the rest is quite standard. I, I don't think we need to go through much of that. So then you go back. Uh, here's all your notifications. Go a step deeper. Um, everything from limitations, uh, game alerts and patch Uploads, downloads come here. Oh, okay. Um, as you can see, even game uploads and downloads. It's like a log file. Yeah. Uh, friends list. I clearly have not many PSN friends. Um, so there's only three. There are more that have not accepted my request, I think. <laughs> okay. um, typical messages. Party chat is finally introduced. I think in the previous uh, PlayStation, you couldn't cross chat between different games. Ah, no, no, they have enabled that. Yep. Okay, interesting. In fact, you also have to buy a headset in the previous generation. This time around, it's free. <laughs> it, it, I mean, not free, it comes, it comes part of the bundle. Yeah. Um, clearly, they want to emphasize on that. Profile settings, pretty hygiene stuff. Everything from your achievements, percentage, um, your recent activities, friends. You can also have privacy settings straight up. Uh, captures is something we'll elaborate in the next screen. This is the new function where you can capture your footage with a screenshot or a video. Uh, you can share that out to your so Facebook. This is the, the folder where it stores everything. Correct. Yeah. Uh, we'll go a bit deeper into that once we go back. Okay. Uh, trophies again. These are all for bragging rights. Uh, settings. They're all clustered to this menu, so you can see here one of the important ones. Uh, if you have a PS Vita, this is how you manage your connection. You have a companion app for PlayStation. Yeah, um, maybe you can talk about that a bit. Yeah. So I have a bit of experience in this. Um, yeah. What it does for the previous generation um, on Xbox, they had something called Smart Glass, and that. Uh, allows the user to easily use the, uh, uh, their mobile device as a second screen and that enables them to do things like quick typing, quick search, yeah. um, mouse when you're navigating this uh, menu. Uh, if not, you always use your controller to navigate and type. 
yeah. which is can get quite frustrating at yeah, times. Yeah, especially typing, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's see how fast we can just get into a game. Um, so when you hover around here, then have a quick preview of uh, what your activity around the game. Uh, everything from achievements to who else has played this game in your friends list, um, your recent activities in terms of sharing, uh, all the efforts to make it more social. You can even go a step deeper. This is more of an expanded view. Uh, and of course, they always want to upsell their premium content to you. Expansion packs and season passes, all their quick access. Um, there's even ratings and likes. Five so, star! Best of course. Four. Of course. <laughs> so, without further ado, when you press start... Nice <laughs> one! <laughs> I'm gonna save that one. <laughs> so you go to the screen. Find all your video clips. Let's say I pick uh, 16 seconds. This one. You can even change the um, title and all that. So this is where the companion app comes in handy. So you have your um, phone keyboard to help you. If not, you can just leave it as it is, let's say. <laughs> It'll actually remember some of these keywords, so you can reference it in the future. I see. And the standard Facebook policy, just in case you can set this one. And just like that, it's uploaded. It's that easy. You can also control um, what and how you share things. For example, if I want to share it only now, double tap, you'll see an indication on the top right screen. Cut. It will just record from where you issued the um, start. Ah, I see. And it'll stop when you press share again. So you can control which Correct. part you want to record. Else, it'll just uh, manually control uh, every 15 minutes of footage. Uh. And this is quite inconsistent. Uh, from what I find is that I don't know which 15 minutes it's recording. Yeah. So I prefer to roughly anticipate if I'm doing something cool, double tap, <laughs> do it, press share once again, and then it will definitely upload to Facebook. Um, other ways you can do it is upload a screenshot. You can also broadcast your gameplay. Uh, this is part of the whole building the new community um, initiative. However, you require uh, a Twitch or Ustream account, which I have not tried out. <laughs> Basically what happens is, it showed it fairly quickly. So with the press of a button, I'm back to the main menu. Ha, oh, that's quick. I press again, I'm back to the game. Press again. That's how quick it is. So the game is still playing on background. What I can do is show the live on PlayStation. So if I broadcasted my game, this is where it'll appear. Uh, this is coming from, if I'm not mistaken, it's not filtered by region or anything. It's all over the world. So these are all live. Um, footage right now and they're showing off what they're playing let's say need for speed to your right actually there'll be a comment section where you can comment among other players because everyone else is watching as well um, they, they mentioned top left is the shoot the hostage is this guy's um, PSN name <laughs> you can hear him broadcasting it as well uh, using his headset if you have the camera you, you can also choose to broadcast your face. Ah, I see. I personally don't know why I want to do that, but okay. Can you communicate with the broadcaster? Uh, yes, we can. We can actually connect to the headset. Or, ah, like I mentioned, comment at the, at the right section. Type in here. Of course, you need to have your Twitch account first. I see. You can also start this game if you have it. So, let's say you're watching your friend broadcasting something. You want to join him? Straight away, press this button, you jump straight. I see. Okay, now that you have seen our review of the PS4, re so what do you guys think? Do you guys think it's a worth the money? Oh, you 
your your well earned one thousand and seven hundred and ninety nine ringgit worth of money. Is it worth your every penny? <laughs> yeah, according to him. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> I'm sure you're gonna have a review on Xbox One, and then that yep. is the ultimate comparison this yeah. generation. Um, or maybe Steam Box. Yeah. Um, <laughs> value for money. I mean, that's a lot of what people are comparing about. Like, um, is it really worth it to pay extra hundred dollars okay. on the um, camera? I think the Kinect. Uh, yeah, the, the versus the what camera. you get from PS4, which yeah. does not include the camera right off the box. Yeah. Exactly. Um, also, comparison of game exclusives won't be as much in the early first few months. Yeah, after launch, yeah. Post launch Q1 2014 is when you start to see yeah, the internal studios game. battling each other, <laughs> and supposedly Sony is going to be more focused on indie games. Uh, yeah. We don't know. Looks so good. <laughs> uh, so far, so good. Uh, we'll see more of that. Um, yeah, I think. And this is Shah. With Adam signing out, catch you later. <laughs> so if you guys need an extra hand in battlefield form, <laughs> a squad leader or squad mate, just add me at Top Bot Mo. He's your guy. Go to guy. And I'll see what I can do. <laughs>